Hey guys, what's up? This is the, uh, I forgot what I named the video. The Unity 3D AI uh, using Rain Theory, or excuse me, Rain Indie from Rival Theories uh, AI system. Uh, this is tutorial number two. I said I wouldn't do a, a uh, I still can't think of this PowerPoint spread or PowerPoint uh, slideshow, and uh, this is what you get when I don't do that. I I'm, I'm seem to be disorganized today. I don't know what's going on. I do apologize for that. Anyways, in tutorial number one, uh, you pretty much see what we created here. Uh, you know, if you didn't watch tutorial number one, I'd recommend going back and watching it so you know where we're at. Uh, but we've got our character. Our main camera with the directional light underneath it a plane which is the ground and the last step that we did was uh, create this new thing from rain uh, called waypoint route how we did this just in case you missed it because I know I went kind of fast at the end uh, you can click on rain up here and uh, the menu strip and uh, you pretty much just create waypoint route you left click on that it generates a waypoint route. It's probably, uh, it starts out called waypoint route, I think, or waypoint route one or something like that. I went over to the inspector and renamed it to route one. All right, there we go. Let me turn free. All right. So over to the left, we have our hierarchy. Uh, if you go ahead and uh, select Route 1 or whatever you named your waypoint route, uh, let's go ahead and uh, click on Add. Now you can Control W and it will add, or uh, you can just click Add. All right, so first this is green. I'm going to change this cover. Uh, cover, Jesus. I'm going to change this color. <laughs> uh I'll change it to something we can see. How about pink? All right, I'll drop the surface. It already is. Okay, so um, pretty much what this is, this is a, uh, a waypoint. And um, each one of these is pretty much set at the location. And then uh, once we add AI or uh, the brain to our little ghost monster here, uh, we're going to see exactly how, um, how this information is stored. But for right now, what I want to do is drag this guy over here to the corner real quick. I'm going to move my ghost. Uh, yeah, let's do minus, oh, nope, minus 0 0.5. Minus, yeah, let's just do minus one. All right. I'm going to offset him a little bit. The reason I'm going to offset him is he's going to go to the, uh, this is a waypoint route. He's going to patrol. Uh, he's going to move to the closest node or waypoint um, first. So I offset him a little bit because I want him to start off going left. And then I want him to ping over here, ping over here, ping over there, and then hit back over here. And then uh, hopefully he'll uh, bridge the gap. Another great thing about rain is uh, they really take the guesswork out of this. Uh, it's just simple. So I'm going to click on uh, our waypoint one that we created and I'm going to click add. And uh, you can see now that we have generated a new, uh, let me go down there so I see my grid real quick. We have generated a uh, new waypoint. So it's really that easy. It's incredibly simple. <laughs> All right, we're going to click add again. No, I guess right here. Now we're going to click add one more time. You know, I'm going to get him to do something goofy. Or not really goofy. I'm just going to get him to walk a little bit so we can see. I think we could, we'll be able to see right up to there. Uh, let me move back just a little bit, add again. You don't have to go this elaborate your first time around, and I really shouldn't be, but I really want you to see or actually get a, a good inspection as uh, we get him moving along. I, you know, I don't want it just one, two, three, four. Um, so I'm going to click add again. 
I'm going to drop this one right down here to this corner. Okay, so that's a pretty uh, gnarly path we've got. Uh, I'm going to go up top here and select all and just hit drop to surface. Um, and that's going to drop everything nice and uh, flush. Uh, the reason why you want this is, is that uh, once he picks up on a, on a waypoint, it, it captures the, the height and, and where, it, obviously it captures where, where uh, it's at in, in 3D space. Uh, and that's how it moves from that point to the other point to the other point. It, it stores this in a variable. And uh, I'm going to show you this soon. And it's one thing that kind of bugs me about the other tutorials out there. Um, they're very, very good tutorials out there regarding this. Better ones than this, in my opinion, because I've been completely bird-brained the whole time. But uh, they, they kind of go over that one subject that we're about to hit right now. So with our waypoint created, or excuse me, our, our uh, waypoint route, uh, we renamed it Route 1. We're ready to uh, go over to our our uh, ghost monster here and um, create some uh, intelligence. So let's uh, select our ghost monster or our micro ghost uh, in the hierarchy. I'm going to click on rain, create AI. All right, we're done. <laughs> it's really how simple it is. It's it's just incredible in my opinion all right so the first thing that we're going to do before we create a mind we're going to go over here uh, to the footprint which is the third uh, icon uh, we're going to uncheck valid path required um, we're not going to require him to have a valid path there's only one path and no need to validate it we're going to allow 3d rotation and we're going to allow 3d movement also in the animator, uh, we got basic animator. There we go. And we're going to add a animation. Ghost idle. Ghost idle back to four. Ghost block. Ghost attack with ball. I don't think he has a walk. I guess if he's idling it, I mean, it's a ghost. He don't have any feet. I guess it makes no sense for him to walk. I'm just going to do idle hover. Uh, idle side to side. Back to four. I guess back to forth would make a good moving motion, maybe. That makes sense. All right, speed one. So we added our motion, or our animation, rather. All right, so we're going to go back to the second icon uh, where mind is, basic mind, and behavior tree asset. We're going to click uh, this right here. Excuse me. We're not because we didn't create a behavior tree yet. Let's go ahead and get in that. This is the real... Uh, the meat of the potato, as some say, of uh, rain. So let's click on this button right here, open behavior editor, and I'll drag it on over here from that other window. So this is the rain behavior editor, and you create behavior trees. And what a behavior tree is, is uh, pretty much uh, a tree system uh, that does stuff in a tree fashion. <laughs> uh, it's, it, it's pretty much that's all there is to it. Uh, it's really cool and we're going to create one now. So we're going to click over here to the right. We're going to click on create new behavior tree and we're going to name it. I'm just going to name this uh, I guess I just named it ghost. I was trying to think of a clever name, but I guess I guess I'll just name it Ghost. Okay, so we only have uh, five minutes left for this one. I really see now. I, I thought that I could create a straightforward tutorial 
without missing anything. Uh, and sometimes things don't get covered in other really great tutorials uh, that's provided by the community. There's one community member uh, in general. I can't remember his name. I'll put him in the description and his YouTube channel uh, that has created great tutorial videos. And they miss some stuff, and I try to avoid that with this, but it seems that uh, we can't. So what I'm going to do is, or what we've done is, we created a uh, new behavior tree called Ghost. And I'm sorry for rambling. Um, you're presented with this. We've got a sequencer. Um, you can look down here. You can click the red question mark if you have more more problems understanding. Uh, you know, execute each child node until any node fails or all succeed, etc. I I don't really use this uh, right here in creating something. Uh, I'm just going to switch this to uh, parallel, and what parallel does is it can run two or more actions at the exact same time. It's wonderful. Uh, the reason why we're going to do this is hopefully when we come back to this and uh, the number the second series, not not second episode because that's what this is, the second series of the uh, AI tutorial chain. <laughs> Uh, we can um, get them to uh, follow you and attack and stuff like that or follow whatever. Okay, so right now we created a parallel. That's our root. I'm just going to change this to uh, start. Pretty much the exact same thing. Okay, and under this we're going to create actions, excuse me, decisions, waypoint patrol. Uh, and then we're uh, generated where we received this uh, uh, new tree item, which is waypoint patrol. And uh, what this does is it patrols a waypoint route or it uh, pretty much gathers the route so you can move to it. And I'll explain what I mean in just a minute. All right, so our waypoint route is going to be route one. And we want it to be, uh, I'll loop it. Yeah, I'll just loop it. Direction will be forward and move target variable. So this is one thing that I, I see skipped over and for good reason. This takes a little bit to explain and it doesn't help when you ramble about why it does. Um, the move target variable that this waypoint act waypoint patrol action I, I might as well say it right or uh, patrol route node uh, does is pretty much it, it gathers the information from our, our waypoint route that we created earlier and we set the name right here uh, next to this Internet Explorer looking icon or this E and um, the move target variable is something that the uh, patrol route node over here uh, stores for our move target variable so I'll explain what that is in just a second but just remember that this is a variable just like if you're coding something if you're a programmer you know exactly what I'm talking about this is boring you if you're not a programmer uh, just think of a variable as a container and we're storing something in that container there you go <laughs> And uh, I'm just going to call this um, var var path. So it can really be anything. There's a lot of great, great tutorials that just say put target, put target, and that's exactly what it is. It is the target for our move. But I, I just don't want to say target. You say okay, well target, and you type that every time and not understand what it is. I'm trying to at least explain uh, a little bit more in depth about some of this. Uh, this is a variable, and uh, you know it needs to be something that you can remember. I think other than target, target, target everywhere, the target sums it up. Um, but I'm just going to call this var path. How about this? Nah, I'm just going to call it var path. Okay, so our move target variable, our next waypoint. You know what? I am going to rename it. Var way point. There you go. Uh, so that's it for this. Looks like we're just uh, ending time. 
I'm sorry to put these time constraints on it, but I'm really trying to hurry the videos along and, and I didn't want to break them up, but I didn't want an hour long video. Um, again, so I'm going to try to explain more about this in the next video. We are going to have a moving character in the third video. It's going to be done completed and you're going to hopefully understand what happened and uh, how we got there. All right. Thanks.